FM, DAB and online, London's biggest conversation. This is LBC 97.3. If you're uh, if you're watching as well as listening, then this little wave is just for you. Chris is in Wembley. Chris, what's your question? Good afternoon, James. Mate, I've got a good question for you. Hang, well, hang on, hang one. on, hang on. You you know you're up, you, you're on telly as well now, don't you? You know everyone can see you at lbc.co.uk. <laughs> oh, fantastic! I'm waving as well, even though I'm on the other side of the radio. But good time. <laughs> Go on. Um, right, my question, James. Do you know, um, Contrails, the little trail that the planes leave behind? Oh, yeah. I saw a program once upon a time that said that they actually affect the Earth's atmosphere. And I would like to know if, number one, you could crack that one. How? I mean, you mean in terms else. of pollution? or? Well, in the sense of creating more rain because it's uh, mixed up with the oxygen and the H2O it becomes and then rains. Okay. <laughs> Apparently so, the amount of planes that go round... But why didn't you contrails. believe the program that you saw it on? Oh, it was a conspiracy program, as in to say the government was putting extra stuff in the engines to make the contrails, and oh, I wouldn't go into that part of it. I just wondered... Well, if you, so you watch that sort of stuff, and you don't believe me when I tell you that we've I, got a camera I, on you in Wembley. nothing else on. We're James, watching you in Wembley. We can see you. <laughs> well, I, like I said, I am waving. If you don't believe me, then... Uh, <laughs> I, do, I, do, I, I do believe you. I'm also very grateful to you for getting dressed this morning. It's seven minutes after 12. Do contrail, do, do, do the vapour trails behind aircraft... Affect the environment. Hmm. Maureen's in Pinner. Maureen, question or answer? Uh, question, James. Another scientific question, please. Oh, yes. I'd like to know what causes earworms, and can anyone give me a tip for how to get rid of them? You, you mean when you've got a song stuck in your head? Yeah. At well, the moment, what have, what, what have you got uh, at the moment? Well, the lottery. I'm old enough to remember the first time around with Gilbert O'Sullivan. Right. And now, since they've started advertising for the new lottery, I can't get this awful tune out. What of my tune head. is it? Which tune is it? Da 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 da. Singing ooh, I could do what today. That's that tune. We're, we're 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 playing that advert quite a lot at the moment. I know. Right? That's why <laughs> I that, listen to LBC I, I, well, a lot. I, I worked that out, Maureen, by dint of the fact you just rang. Thank us. you. Yeah, I, I don't. Not a lot gets past me like that. Doesn't. To be honest, I have that stuck in my head as well. I, I, oh. So there's probably a musical explanation. The science of music is fascinating. It'd be something about those notes working together to. I, no, worm their way into your brain. The only way you get rid of it, I is imagine, is, another one. Is, is either replacing it or, or not hearing it for a while so that it, it fades away. But don't yeah. do that, because then you wouldn't be able to listen to me. True. That's true. We'll work it out for you. Thank you very much indeed. Can you just wave quickly for the camera? I just wave, and yeah. I just tie my dressing gown up. Cause Whoa. The no. out of the bar. Oh, crikey. You've no idea the trouble we have to go to to keep Jones the Engineer under control. And it's precisely comments like that, Maureen, that, that get him back out of his box again. So, yes, thank you for doing your dressing gown up after getting out of the bath. Diago is in Wimbledon. Diago, question or answer? Yeah, Diego. Hi, James. Diego? Of course it's Diego. Why? I mean, we've got cameras here now know. so everyone can this see the spelling point, of my colleagues. Point, this is going to be particularly Diago. Diego. Question yeah, or answer, Diego? Uh, question. Um, basically, I wanted to know where you can mass produce honey. Um, reason why? Because, I mean, you can mass produce jams and pretty much all the food out there. But honey has to be, the honey beef has to be where there is nature, trees, flowers, and whatnot. So, yes. how can they mass produce it? Like, they have to, yeah, basically, that's my question. So, well, you, you, ah, do you mean, is there a limit on how many hives you could keep in one place? I mean, like when I went to Sainsbury yesterday and I, and I bought a, a jug of honey, which was quite cheap, and it made me think, well, is it cheap because they must produce it? And if they must produce it, where would it be? Because they still have to be in nature, in, in the middle of nature, and they can't really have a million honeybees, about, um, you know, like boxes containing be, um, bees. So it kind of made me question that. I, I, well, you know, I mean, Jones just asked if you know how, they, how, how honey is made, but you've mentioned bees yeah, quite yeah. a few times. You do know how honey is made like two two boxes of bees and he makes just enough for the family but um i mean well, I, I, don't, I, don't, need... I, don't, no, I, I know what you mean sort of that i mean honey is mass produced in the sense that you can buy it in a supermarket it's got to be produced on a fairly epic scale yeah and i'm sort of wondering will they be in the middle of, of the countryside with 
you know, like... Yeah, but they're not going to be in a factory. Or, or I mean, they're going to be outdoors, but there might be hundreds of hives. There's a, there's a film with Peter Fonda in it, and he, he has loads of hives in a field. Well, I... And and if you go overseas, honey is brought by smaller farmers to to a central base, a bit like dairy farming. You could have twenty cows, and give all your milk to a central depot, which then gets. I don't quite get the question. It's my fault. I'm just being a bit slow. It's not your fault, Diego. No, it might be my question as well. But I mean, still, the, 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 you can buy honey for one forty nine, and yeah. then you, you know, it's just like how can they make it so cheap? They could, I don't know. Maybe it's not a good question. No, 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 no. No, don't ever do that, all right? If, can you if see you my get... face? It's disappointed. I can see you. Everyone in London can see your face. That's what happens when we when we go live on the on lbc.co.uk. So can you mass produce? I'm going to try and work that question up a bit for you. Thank you very much. No, thank you very much. And we'll begin with... Can, can, so what? the biggest production of honey would be the answer, wouldn't it? I think. So if there's like one company on one site that has a billion hives for example that's a, obviously an exaggeration 0845 973 is the number to call uh, earworms have we got any musical experts who can explain why some tunes really get stuck in our consciousness and is there anything you can do to get rid of them what's the largest scale on which you can produce honey there you go that's that's it that's the what's the largest scale on which you can produce honey you can farm honey uh and do the trails behind aeroplanes have any effect on the environment alan's in canary wharf question or answer alan it's a question james yes mate right bus stops bus you have stops. a request bus stop yep. and a non-request i can understand a request bus stop when you have many routes using it, or even more than one. But why a request stop when only one number bus stops there? Just can't understand it. If you're standing at that bus stop, it's obvious you want the bus. Ah, so, right. So if you're standing at a bus stop and only one bus goes there, why do you have to hail the bus? Because you, Yeah, yeah. yeah. I just can't understand that one. How long have you been puzzling over this, Alan? Uh, a couple of months. I've only just started using buses, to the truth. No, fair <laughs> enough. I've just noticed it. And I've just, no, a couple of months ago I noticed it. And I thought, oh, that's strange. I'm waiting at a bus stop. Probably the driver must know I want the bus. Do you not think, because right. so many bus stops, I mean, you're going to be on quite a rare bus stop if only one bus stops there. So it's just... Ha- it's no, sort of- not really, James. Not oh. really. It's a busy route. It's a busy route. Has he ever but driven past when you haven't? Have you f- ever forgotten to hail him and he's driven past? No, I haven't, I must admit. I've well, how do you know, it. then, that he wouldn't stop? Because it's... Well, because it's a request stop on the stop. Yeah, but what so would happen... Uh, yeah, but what you don't know that. If you don't request it... What would happen? You don't know what would happen. So you're asking a question that's in a theoretical universe neither of us have ever visited. No, no, James, that, I, that has happened to me many, many years ago, what? but not a bit. Yeah, but you can't remember if it was a request stop or not. So you need to ring next week. No. You need to go out this afternoon. <laughs> I'm not joking. I don't know why you're laughing. You need to go out this afternoon. You need to stand at the request stop where only one bus is allowed to stop and not request it. And then if it goes past, we've got a question. But as as things stand, Alan, I don't think we've got a question. James, if I miss the bus, will you come and pick me up? But you have to miss the bus in order to qualify for Mystery Hour. James, I will do that today. I'll do that day and phone you next week. Yeah, let, keep in touch. We, 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 oh, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Uh, Ryan's, in, Ryan's in Wembley. Ryan, question or answer? Answer to the bus stop question. No way, go on. Um, basically, a bus stop is where buses have to stop. Yeah. You have a request stop where, unless there's somebody at the bus stop to signal for a bus, a bus can go um, drive on past it. And we know what a request stop is, Ryan. I mean, I missed you. Oh, no, up... Is that no, what you've rung in with? A, a bus stop is, the buses have to stop there. Yeah. That's it. Also, uh, regardless of, well, it doesn't matter how many buses there are um, that go to the bus stop, or if there's somebody at the bus stop, they're meant to stop there regardless. Yeah, but they, <laughs> but, but they won't stop there if there's no one waiting and no one on the bus has rung the bell. Ryan, I, I, mate, I'm very, no, 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 That's Ryan, enough. you've rung in to explain to me what bus stop means. I'm telling you and your answer is, it's a place where buses stop. 
No, no, I'm no, you no, 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 Ryan, jog on, mate. I mean, Alan, Honestly, let, let, no, Ryan, leave it. Seriously, Alan, look what you've done now. You've got people ringing in to tell us what bus stop means. Oh, he's gone. He's at the bus stop now. He's waiting. We should get Oh, crikey, keep an eye. Can we send another film crew to be with Alan? And you still, I, I can't show you this big budget expenditure that justifies the whole televisual experience that you're currently enjoying. I can't show you where we've spent all the budget until someone gets an answer right. That's why we forced Ryan on early to tell us that a bus stop, James, is a place where buses stop. 